of, of the gym. Like, he likes to spar everybody. Anybody that hits that door, he's sparring with them, no matter what weight, including our heavyweight champion, Stephen Asplund. So he's a fighter's fighter, man. A lot, lot of people have a lot, a lot of respect for him based on the totality of his work. I, and I like the guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first bout is brought to you by Zebra Mats and takes place at 155 pounds. Introducing first out of the blue corner, a wrestler with a record of four wins, two defeats, and one draw. Stepping in at five feet, eight inches tall, and tipping the scales at 154 pounds, representing Calculated Violence MMA from Omaha, Nebraska, Jaden, game over, over man. And his opponent out of the red corner, a striker with four fights to his credit. Stepping in at five feet, eight inches tall, and tipping the scales at 158 pounds, representing McCune's martial arts. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, Aaron Skippy Terry! And your referee for that action is Tom Delevingne. In a blue corner, we got Jaden Overman in the black trunks with the multicolor camouflage trim. And Skipateris in the straight black trunks. Skipateris moving forward. Skipateris leveling back, and you can watch Jaden Overman as somebody that's moving forward, constantly looking for that takedown. You know, um, McCune's team liked this matchup because they didn't want to um, see Aaron test his wrestling and said he does pretty well with the wrestlers. Um, he did get a wrestle a little bit last time. Matthew Tote who probably wasn't a wrestler, isn't a great wrestler at least. He has some wrestling, but um, Overman's got a little bit of resume. He hasn't really, sh he doesn't look like he's set up a takedown yet. He's well, sizing he, him up on the feet first, it looks like. You got Aaron Skipateris looking to use his long range. Look at the focus on Skipateris, he's holding the center. There's a lot of energy being burnt right now. Nice by, kick to the body by Jaden. By Jaden Overman. There's the first takedown and Take he gets it pretty easy. Yeah, I, you know, he, there wasn't much of a fight on that takedown. It was almost as if Skipateris accepted it. Try to pass the guard, Jaden. Joining us in the booth, Trez Mala. Hello. Put that right knee up, Jaden. Good action here. Those elbows tight. You got on top, you got Jaden Overman. Jaden, posture up. Posture up. And Skip Terrace, when he's on the bottom, he likes to nullify rather than stand up. He just likes to go like ultimate defense. And when you do something like that, oftentimes a lot of time comes off the clock, Jeremy. Well, the one nice thing he has here is he's got Chris McCune, one of the better black belts in Minnesota of all time, in his corner, who hasn't actually been in a corner for a little while. I've seen him in the last couple of shows. And um, they're right in his corner there, so if he can set something up, Chris is going to be able to talk him through it pretty nicely. Yeah, if you're going to have, if you're going to be on the bottom with somebody, it's best to be in your own corner. I agree. Kind of a veteran move on that, in that aspect. But yeah, I do agree that Aaron probably needs to start working on getting up. Um, he's not great it, enough at jiu-jitsu that you know he's he's a super threat from the bottom. If he's not giving away, I mean, if he's not getting up or trying to set anything up, he's actually just giving away points right now. He's giving away his, his, time. his round. Yeah, yeah. He's nickel and diming on the time. And getting out energy, you know, is, is, it's probably, I guess he's not using up a ton of energy on the bottom, but obviously it's still easier than having someone on top of you to be, you know, uh, being on the bottom is a lot harder than, oh, here we go. He's trying to set up a triangle of some sort. Of, oh, Ren looking to set up a... Like Jane's not easy to sub, though, Mike. Last Chicago show, he was in quite a few submissions, and uh, I think it was a draw, am I, I right? I would even say Jaden Overman, you know, from his last fight over Jayden, at Ignite in Chicago, it's almost as if his confidence gets built tight, along Jayden. the way. First round was a little shaky in Chicago, and you kind of saw him really push through. Uh, middle of round two and Jayden. round three was pretty dominant. Skip Terrace got good wrist control. He's been nullifying everything he's done. He's just not setting anything up or working off of it. But it's been the entire round. So, yeah. You know, no. When you're judging around now, has much happened from on top? Not a lot, except the ride time. And that ride time, that ride time's everything at this point. 
No, it's just good to mitigate the damage being done, but he's given up the round by just uh, taking that defensive position. That's one thing about these guys, these game fighters out here. Sometimes they like to take, I don't want to say like to take the punishment, but they're willing to take the punishment. Not, not bothered by it. They're, yeah, no, not bothered by it. Yeah. When, when they should be thinking about points. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like a, it's like a chess game. You know, it's a game of inches. Like they say in football, it's a game of inches. You got to kind of look at almost like a point fight. You can't, you can't give up the clock. Yeah. No, and it, it, the, the pressure's on because you have to keep the, you have time management, energy management. It, it, it's understandable that you're, you're focused on one thing, trying not to get hit. But at the same time, in the back of your brain, during training, that should be something that's there. Got Andrew Summers in the corner of Jaden Overman. It, it, it happens too, Trevor, from doing a lot of like jiu-jitsu rounds where you got 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I mean, you're, you have so much time to set up in a fight, a three-minute fight, you don't have any time. It can, oh, I know. It can build some bad habits. Yeah. Yeah. No, the pressure, the pressure's immense in the time frame to do something. Sorry about that. Yeah, the pressure's immense in that time frame. Yeah, Jeremy, they, 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 those jiu-jitsu rounds in the gym absolutely can build bad habits in an MMA fighter, and vice versa. If you're competing in jiu-jitsu, touch hands with both fighters. Aaron's going to do something to really get his respect, if not drop him, I think, to... Skip Terrace is yeah. taking the center of the ring. Jay Overman going for a leg kick. That was something that paid off in dividends in his last fight in Chicago. Jaden's a body kick. Yeah, Jaden's a gamer. Skip Terrace, Abby took me. A shot. In for a shot, man. man. Ooh, going right... Almost crawling into the guard of Jaden Overman is Aaron Skip Terrace. Skip Terrace right on the bottom, Jaden Overman Get that right leg up. working on Jayden, top. You know what he's looking for, bro. It's obvious. It's so obvious. Skip Terrace climbing the back head. occasionally of Jaden yes, Overman. Yes. Looking head. either for an armbar right. or a, uh, a triangle choke. Right Constant right. open guard, though. Constant head. open guard of, of Skip Terrace, which allows the guy on top to, to really work. Yeah, he, uh, you know, and, and without elbows and stuff from the bottom, obviously it's a different fight than a pro fight. But um, Aaron's got a, he's got to tighten up his jiu-jitsu game because he's obviously not a very good wrestler. You got to be one or the other. You know, he's, he's I think he's showing okay jiu-jitsu in his fights, but like you said, more defensive and um, nullifying uh, groundwork than. Yeah, it's nullifying. And, you know, that, that's actually typical of uh, like shoot fighting. You know, people that don't really do jiu-jitsu, they just do like anti-jiu-jitsu or jiu-jitsu defense. But like I said, like in, in our pre-fight interviews. Good uh, body shot there by the, Jaden. The people out of Skip Terrace's gym, the amount of respect that he gets from those guys, and, and then of ourselves, like he's never looking to get out of a fight. Like he'd, he'd rather take volumes of punishment rather than quit. But it's like one thing being tough, it's another thing being effective. Yeah, he's really got to get his uh, wrestling dialed in, obviously here. Um, Overman's, you know, controlling the fight pretty handily right now. I'd like to see Aaron get up. He's trying to right now, though. I do like that he's moving around. Um, I don't know if he should be crawling up the cage or what, but here we go. He's trying to maybe set up an arm bar. He's really not had any close submission attempts or even any really what I would call a submission attempt yet. But he's got a chance here. He's trapping the arm of, of Jaden Overman. Overman's really good at, uh, you know, realizing that he might be in trouble and then just completely calming down and just tightening up. He did that a lot in his last fight, go. too. A little ground to pound. What's that? Um, no, oh, big uh, hammer. Mikhail push. Willis. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Skip a terrorist. Heavy. Heavy Smart punch move. by Jaden Overman. Smart. Overman took an angle, oh. landed a nice right hook to the jaw of uh, Skip a terrorist as he was getting up here to his feet. I think it's one of those things like if you're going to get up to your feet, you just commit and you got to go. Uh, Skip Terrace up until this point is at six minutes, five and a half minutes on his back. He's got a cut on his eye. I think it was in that right hand that was uh, landed at the, at the end there when kind of leaned forward. Sneaky little punch by uh, Jaden Overman. Yeah, nice little angle cut. Yeah. Yeah, Overman's doing a lot of work. He's he's taking every little opportunity he can to get in a shot. It doesn't necessarily have to be the big the big shot. He's been doing the body work. 
when he's on the ground, then when his hands go down or try to adjust for it, he's been going up to the head. So I, I, I like the fact that he's not just focused on one idea. He's taking whatever he can get. And that's how you really score, and that's how you, 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 work, down, <coughs> you work down a tough guy like Skip Terrace. Pick, pick, pick. Jaden Overman, you know, proof is in the pudding. He's got two 10-9 rounds right now using his wrestling. He's not changing a thing going into this third no, round. No, the smart thing would be to shoot for a takedown right away, but uh, hoping, hoping we get some act good action here. Sense of urgency out of the red corner of Skip Terrace. <laughs> Overman's already starting his shots. <laughs> yeah. Skipateris moving forward. Little nice little mouse on the upper right side of the face of Skipateris. He's gonna try and kick when you shoot. He's got that hematoma forming on there. Jay Overman. You know, when you got a guy wrestler throwing Skip kicks like that, you just gotta commit. You gotta push through that and commit and just land a, a solid strike. One, two, one, two. I'd just be ready with a knee, try to catch him well, on you, the shoot. You can't do that in amateur, though. Oh, my bad. To the body only. Skip Terrace, measuring, measuring. Mm. In for a shot is Jay Overman. Oh, and he, got, he grabbed that neck. Accepting that takedown. Yeah, he's got to stop accepting those takedowns. Yeah, he's accepting it. He's accepting the takedown rather than fighting. Anyway, that might be okay in the gym. But it's, it's hard to win fights that way, especially when people see footage of that. Oh, there he, he's trying to get around. Let's go. Stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. Yeah. Overman, maintaining his top position. I, I think uh, the ride time on this is probably subtract 30 seconds. Maybe even 20 seconds. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to pull off a sub in this position he's in too. Well, he's, he's got, got an open, he's got an open guard. He's got a, yeah, you're right. Chopping. Left right hand is Overman. Another heavy right hook to the face. Make it violent, Jane. Let's go. Jane Overman's really working this round. The referee's not going to stand us up. The the anti jiu jitsu that uh, Skip Terris was doing in the beginning of the fight is not so much anymore. No, he's not threatening all the submissions. Um, he's going to be pretty handily here. He did miss weight, you know, and it was a tough weight cut. Um, I think that might have affected him. He doesn't have the same energy that he usually has. You know, it's, it's one thing. You don't want to lose a fight at the scale. Yeah. Now, that's something that's in your control and in your power. Two, two pounds, was it? Two pounds, two pounds or is it one pound with the one pound allowance? Two, about two and a half. Two and a half? He, well, he was, he, it was 156 and he was like 158 and a half. Okay. So legit two pounds. Yeah. And he tried his best, you know, and I think that probably affected him here. But that being said, Jaden's also putting on a master class um, of domination here. It's not, it's not the most, it's not, it's not devastating and it's, it's, it's not going to get a finish. It's effective. It's effective. Yeah. It's going to be 30-27. For sure, yeah. you know, it's gonna be. It's, it's good work he's he's doing in there. He's you also gotta try to find a finish. Like at this level, you gotta, sometimes you gotta take a little risk, take a chance, see how it works out. Try to find a finish. Yeah, that, that's something that Jay Overman we didn't see it in Chicago, we didn't see it here, but he's got he's got the ability. You know, he's got the ability to, to do that in a few. All right. Oh. All. Oh. Oh. Check. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the scores are in. Judge Keith Arkwright has it 30 to 25. Rob Grossi has it 30 to 27. And Mike Holloman has it. 30 to 27. Your winner by unanimous decision, Jaden.